What is up everybody on YouTube, Tubers Gaming HD right here coming straight at you with yet again another video. I hope you guys are having a good day out there of course and hope you make sure to work hard every single day. So we're in the map again, we're in the farm where I'm actually kind of like, uh, last time I was here I kind of built like those machine houses right here as you can see. We got four of them right now which is pretty cool. And uh, it is a pretty huge farm that we're actually living on right now and I really like it. It is really, really cool to see that we actually got this new setup right here. So I think I'm actually going to go ahead and locate all my equipments and actually put them into the machine house so we actually get them in there for lots of reasons. So if you go ahead and actually open it, see something open. I can just open the, I'm just gonna open the first one right here. There's like five ports in this right here. And it is a huge machine house right here. It is, as you can see, it's a huge machine house. So we can actually have a lot of equipment into that. So we're gonna go ahead and actually put it in there. I'm gonna take the tractor, the Gen Deere. Where is it? Where is it? Okay. Down. Okay, it's down at the sheep right here actually, I was cutting some grass right here last time. So, that's the 8400 uh, arm, but we're just going to take the, this right here, this, the, the 7310 arm. We can still place the equipment in there. So here we have the archer stack, which is okay. I think actually the archer stack is okay. And then we're going to place it. Uh, Basically, I'm going to place the ultra stack right here um, because I need to have some of the kind of straws for my animals. So, we're going to go ahead and do that. I'm going to unload the bales. And we're basically, at first, just going to kind of unload them right here on the hunt. That's true, but this is. Take the help window off because we don't need that, it just annoys us. And we can't work in. So, this is the first machine to be placed into the machine hand right here, the outer stagger. We're not going to use this so often, I think, so it is okay for that one to get over here. I mean, like, like equipment that we're going to use like often and stuff like that is probably not some equipment that we. Uh, it is going to be placing in the machine houses. So we're just going to put it in here. Yeah. So there we have it. That's the alpha stagger. And also right here we do have the planter and we do have the pile. And we're going to try to place them inside too. Actually, we are going to do that. I think there's kind of place for the plow right here, just next to the archer stack. So, right there. As you can see right there, it's actually placed okay right there. We still do have room for a machine on the side of it, and that is going to be the Lincoln cultivator right here. Which is going to be the lovely one to, to get in there. So, I'm going to fit this into that also. And that one is going to be placed next to the plow, basically, as I said earlier. I think actually next to the lemon can we're going to place this little pine right here, which is basically the tree pine. So we're going to go ahead and put that one too. I think we're 
should be able to fit in next to the line. So, so now we have that also, we can cut dope, and least but not last, we're going to take the styro, styro cedar right here, we're going to take that one, that should do that, that would be great. I don't even know if it can actually fit into the machine house, but we are bound to find out. I think it will actually fit perfectly. So it's okay, it should be so. Maybe not. Actually, it will not fit in. Okay, yeah. So it just goes through the pillars right there, which is not decent. A little bit too long, maybe. Uh, we can actually go like a little bit further back. That's like the furthest we can go. So it just managed to get in there and have enough space for it, actually. So that's pretty good. Also, the last one is going to be the trailer right here, I think. Uh, the horse trailer, uh, which I'm basically going to go ahead and place in there too. We're not going to use that, we already have like two horses and it is plenty of horses for me at the moment actually. So yeah, I'm going to place this in there too. Okay. Uh, I don't know when we're going to use this, it's just going to be placed in here for some period. Yes. It's a little bit hard to go ahead and do this. Should probably just have used the car. It's a little bit easier to drive and actually turn with kind of the car in front of this right here. But this is a little bit harder to go ahead and drive with, but yeah, I still think it is okay. Then we have the tractors right here. We have the RT, and we do have this the small one. And I think I'm basically just going to place them like next to each other. You also have the 1050 over here, right here. Then the 1050, which is my favorite tractor of all time, but not of all time, but of the newer times, actually. And still do believe that this is the most evil looking machine that is on the market. Then we have this right here. We're not going to use the roller anymore. So we can actually go ahead and sell the roller, which is also what I am intending to do. We're going to go to the garage, leased items. I do have these on a lease and I do also have the roller on a lease. I don't know why this is on a lease right here, but that's just how it is sometimes, I guess. So yeah, that's pretty good. It's pretty good too. Basically, we're going to place this tractor next to the other tractors, I guess. And we're going to put it in. That was a little bit of a drama, but we're going to have to take the time to figure out what we're going to do. So, you can probably already see which or kind of what kind of color I'm using the most in the factory of 2019. It is, of course, the Gen Rio colors and also like the uh, Fint 1050 Rio. I think it's. I think John Deere is really a good machinery. Of course, there's different opinions on that, and different opinion, different opinions is always good to have when you're gonna discuss something. So, yeah, I do believe that it's pretty dope with with everything indeed, and and so on. So, that's kind of my opinion on the things actually, and um, I really do believe that it's dope enough and cool enough. So that's really cool. So yeah. With that said right here, I think it is actually time to go ahead and end this video right here. This is just a small kind of cleaning video on the farm. So please go ahead and hit the thumbs up on this video. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't done that. And also, 
yeah, post a comment down under if there's anything you want to ask me and stuff like that. And uh, then we're going to see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching and thanks for coming through. Bye, guys. Bye.